If you're looking for an electric skateboard that has a flexi deck, is great for carving, and uses hub motors, think about what's currently available on the market. Do a comparison with other boards another time, but if those are the qualities you're looking for, again, flexi deck, carving, hub motors, I can tell you now that at this time, the Wago 3 is the board that I would choose. The Wago 3 is of course the successor to the very popular Wago 2S. If you search YouTube for Wago 2S, you'll see that it got a ton of positive reviews. But the Wago 2S has been around for more than one full year. It's still a good board, but because there are now so many competing budget boards using almost the exact same components, it doesn't really stand out anymore. And also, many people's expectations of electric skateboards have become much higher. They can't just have good electronics that take you from point A to point B. They need to be good longboards. Well, I'm glad to say that the Wago 3 is actually a unique product, and it doesn't suck. I don't consider it an innovative product, but it doesn't need to be. It gives a lot of people exactly what they're looking for. If you want to see my review and comparison of the Wago 3 to its nearest competitors, Make sure you're subscribed to this channel and join the notification squad thing. Bro fist. Like the Wago 2S, the Wago 3 uses zealous bearings in the front wheels. The deck is still shaped like a loaded Vanguard. The motors have some minor cosmetic changes but are otherwise mostly the same as before. But pretty much everything else has been upgraded. The deck is now 83% bamboo and 17% fiberglass, making it stronger and more bouncy than before. This is great if you like flexi decks. You might have noticed that this deck has no handle, but it's actually going to be optional. If you want a handle, just make a note to Wago when you're ordering, and then you can mall grab like a pro. The front truck is now an authentic 50 degree Paris V2. If you're not familiar with Paris trucks, the Paris V2 is one of the best selling longboard trucks in the world because they're fantastic for carving and pumping. The rear truck is not Paris, but you can see that the design is similar. The bushings are all stock Paris 98 bushings and notice that they're all barrels. This helps the board be more stable at higher speeds. The front wheels are custom made for Wago. They're 90 by 62 millimeters, 78A durometer. They have offset cores and square lips and look very much like bigger versions of wheels on the boosted board. The new remote has an LED display, very similar to the one on X-Way and Backfire's remotes. It has battery indicators for the board and the remote, a speedometer, a trip meter, an odometer, etc. The Wago 2S has three speed modes and the Wago 3 has a fourth speed mode. It's 2019, so of course they're calling it Turbo. But it's different from Backfire's and X-Way's turbo modes. There's no extra button, there's no 30 second limit, you don't have to enable it, it's just the fourth speed mode. And in my opinion, that's probably the best implementation of turbo. In turbo mode, the top speed is the same as the third mode, 39 km per hour, but you get more mid-range torque. Wago now has their own custom enclosures for the Wago 3. The rounded design matches the shape of the deck much better than the boxy enclosures that they used in the past. If you need to open the enclosures, you can now undo the screws from just one side, so swapping batteries is a little easier now. And if you buy an extra battery for the Wago 3, it actually comes with the enclosure, so you'd be swapping the battery and the enclosure together. You'd have to cut that zip tie though. The reason that the battery and enclosure need to be changed together is that Wago has taken extra steps to make the board more water resistant, and part of that involves gluing the battery to the enclosure. So far, I've only encountered two minor issues. Remember, this is a prototype that has not gone into mass production yet. First, the pivot on the rear hanger is either a little bit too short or the hole is too deep. The result is that the kingpin is not centered unless I pull the hanger up a little bit. Once I do that, the bushings go in just fine. I didn't actually feel any problem with the rear truck though while I was riding, so this might not be a big deal. The second issue that I encountered is that the hub motor sleeve started making a slight fapping sound. Wago told me that the reason is that there is actually a tiny gap between the motor and the sleeve. But as far as I could tell, neither of those issues affected the ride, so I guess I'm just nitpicking. But in any case, this is a prototype, and Wago said that they'll take care of those issues. Again, this is not a proper review, I'm mainly just introducing the board right now. I'll do an actual review after I write it some more, and if this video gets 11 likes. Yes. But so far, I actually yes. like this board Wago. a lot. Yes, wow, go. It said flapping, right? Not fa 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 fa